Hi, my name is Dennis Martinek and I'm running for town council in Southbridge on June 30th. I want to tell you a little bit about myself and why I'm running. I was born in Hollywood, Florida. Our family moved to Massachusetts in 1970. I graduated from Marion High School in 1981. I now work in technology sales, which I've been involved in for over 15 years. The love of my life, Kate, became my bride on June 19, 1993. My wife gave birth to our beautiful daughter, Grace, in 1999. In 2002, our son, Jack, was born. In 1999, we bought our house in Southbridge. Our children both attend Trinity Catholic Academy in Southbridge. So why am I running? I noticed when I started watching the town council meetings that there's a lack of civility on the part of some town councilors. It should never be a place to play favorites. No eye rolling, no making fun of the citizens of Southbridge, no matter how justified you feel you are, should be tolerated. I'm a pro-health advocate. 22 medical professionals came out against the expansion of the landfill. One lone doctor on the Board of Health voted against the public health. That speaks volumes. The money is tempting, but if you look at a million dollars a year benefiting 17,000 people, that's only $58.82 per person to sacrifice our health. When American Optical left Southbridge, we didn't have a plan B to help those workers that would become unemployed. When the DOD promised 6,000 jobs, the rug was again pulled out from under our feet. The result is that we have an absolutely beautiful conference center, state of the art, but without the jobs that were promised to us. They built it, but they didn't come. Again, there was no plan B. We must always have a plan B at the ready. Southbridge needs to be a leader in education to not only help improve the futures of our students, but to attract top-notch companies. Without a strong educational system, we can only hope for the best, and hope is not a strategy. The system needs to be fixed at once. Our government looks at its people as an ATM machine making hefty withdrawals. It's time that we stand up collectively and say, no more. In these, some of the toughest of economic times in our country's history, our local government is sneaking up on us and cinching our belts tighter. Water and sewer rates have gone up nearly 40% in the last three years. Our economic development department has turned into a factory that fills out forms for grant money. That may be important to our town, but other towns have this as a volunteer function. Why are we paying an outrageous sum of money to have it done? There's a better way. Let's bring in an efficiency expert to see whether we have redundancies and waste. Let's realize that the money we're spending belongs to the people of Southbridge. By working with other towns, we could potentially consolidate resources to increase our purchasing power in items such as oil, school and office supplies, bought in higher quantities at a lower cost. As your citizen legislator, I promise you this. I will do the best job possible to represent the people of Southbridge. Government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Government the way our founding fathers meant it to be. If you agree with me, I'd appreciate your vote on June 30th.